What's going on guys, it's Greg Miskos Dyes, and today we're gonna to give you a review of the new Nemesis 3 goalie head. First things first, we have to have Nick string it up. Can you hear me now? We're good? We rolling? All right, we got the head strung up from Nick. We're also trying out a new green screen background, so let us know what you guys think of that. We're gonna try a couple different colors. Let us know in the comments which one you'd like the most for the background, but we can change it all around, you know, make it a little bit different all the time. Uh, I don't know, Pat, put me at the beach. Am I at the beach? Yeah. Oh, cool. Where else, where else should I go? How about Mars? Take me to Mars. Cool. I mean, it feels normal, but I guess a little more. All right, so let us know in the comments what you think the background should look like. But let's get in this review. We've got today the Warrior Nemesis 3. As with every time I do a goalie head, I put this disclaimer out. I'm not a goalie. I don't really know what I'm talking about. Uh, so we're just going to give you a spec overview, but we're also going to have some goalies who work here at ECD take some shots at the end of the review uh, and maybe give a couple of their comments. So we got this thing strung up. Brand new goalie head, third generation of the Nemesis from Warrior. Cost on this bad boy is 70 bucks. Um, big shout out to Universal Lacrosse for sending one down. Check the link in the description if you want to go check it out on their website. But cost is 70 bucks. That is cheap. That's really cheap. I mean, compared to the other high-end heads, you're looking more at like 90. Uh, so 70 bucks is a really good deal. Uh, that comes in white, black, and gray. And the big thing they're pushing with this is just a new updated design, a little bit lighter, a little bit stiffer. So I've got some stats to throw at you guys on the weight. Got a lot of them, so it's tough to remember. So this head, the Nemesis 3, is 11.5 ounces. Compare that to the Nemesis 2, which was 12.5. So they did lose an ounce from the Nemesis 2 to the Nemesis 3, making it lighter. Comparing that to the other most popular goalie stick, the Eclipse 2, that is 11.8 ounces. So it is just a touch lighter than the Eclipse 2 and a good bit lighter than the Nemesis 2. So uh, solid weight there, right on par with what the other competitive heads are. Please hold. Not important. That's good. I'll get a beep. <laughs> okay. So weight reduction on this bad boy is good. The rest of it is just design. The big thing that people who like the Nemesis like about it is this bowl style face shape. It's more round than most other goalie face shapes and it also has a good bit of flare where that bottom rail is pinched in more than the top rail so it gives you a little bit more saving area. This is a technology exclusive to Warrior. So if you're looking at the Nemesis 2, which I've got right here, face shape is looking pretty similar. Sidewall strut design is pretty similar. They've added two more, one at the top and the bottom. So it's pretty impressive that they added two struts but still lost weight. Um, and it definitely feels stiffer and more sturdy um, than the second Nemesis did, but not by a lot. So when you're looking at goalie, you, first you want ultra lightweight. Uh, for hand speed, this definitely uh, isn't ultra lightweight. The first Eclipse was lighter than it, but it's pretty light. And then you want stiffness, so when it's hot, it's not folding back over shots. And so I think this fits both those characteristics. And except for string, it was good. It's got that classic Nemesis face shape, plenty of string holes, uh, nothing too crazy or fancy going on here. So I think that combination of weight, stiffness, and price makes this a really good option. So we're going to hop out on the turf. AJ and Noah are going to take some shots, and uh, we'll see how it holds up. AJ, how do you feel about your odds? Great. <laughs> you guys are all bums. Oh, wow. Oh. oh. In the head. Good, nice and stiff. Uh, better than the last two <laughs> Nemesis because they normally would break right here and right there on the struts. Adding those two extra struts, I think made it a lot stiffer and a lot more durable. All right, guys, that's a wrap on the Nemesis 3 review. Let us know what you think down in the comments and also how you like this new format to review, a little more informal, a little more vlog style. So have a great day. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Like if you liked it. And I'll see you guys next time.